Craft Hamster and I thought I'd do a quick video today about my cutting tool trio. Um, now these are the three um, tools that I take out with me uh, generally whenever I go out. Um, I do change them around now and again but there are three tools that I kind of go back to time and time again. Um, so I thought I'd sort of introduce you to, to what it is I use um, and give you a, a bit of an explanation about why I use them and, um, and why I feel they're good for, for bushcraft. So what I'll do, I'll bring you a little bit closer in and show you what we've got and I'll, I'll take them through them one by one. Right guys, so these are the three tools that I take with me on pretty much every trip I go on. Um, I, it's been termed online as a, as a cutting tool trio. Uh, so, you know, as, the, as the name suggests, it's three tools that allow you to cut things um, and each one has a different use. Um, so what I've got is a knife, a saw and a small axe. Um, and the reason I carry these three is they basically allow me to do everything in camp that I, uh, I, I might want to do. I can harvest and then process firewood. Um, I can use pretty much all three of them for carving, um, the saw more so for getting the wood in the first place. Um, but the three that I carry most regularly are these. Um, so you've got the Raymere's Bushcraft Knife, um, which you've seen in a couple of my other videos. It's a really well-made knife. Um, it can take a lot of abuse. It keeps a very, very sharp edge. Um, and you know you can use this from anything from you know camp cooking, um, carving, whittling. Um, you know you can make all of your things like tent pegs um, and, and, and anything in between. Um, moving on from there, we've got the Gransfors Brux um, mini hatchet. Um, and again, this is a great little tool. Takes up hardly any space. Uh, I mean, I, I can fit this in the pocket of this jacket if I really need to. Um, again, keeps a very very sharp edge. Um, and as I've said before, I tend to favour. Um, the Gransfors Brux axes above others. Um, I've tried several. Um, I, I've been through sort of the Holter Fours, um, uh, Gerber, Fiskers, um, even down to sort of you know your cheap things from B and Q. Um, but this is what I've kind of uh, sort of stuck with. And then finally, I've got the Silky Zubat, uh, which again you've seen in another one of my videos. Really, really good saw, um, and it, it will cut through green root very quickly and effectively. Um, and it, you know, given the size of this blade, it allows me to do uh, a lot of work with, with, uh, with very little effort, uh, which I find really useful. Um, so these are my three. Um, you've seen me use them before, so I'm not going to go into masses and masses of detail on, on how they work and give you demonstrations. That's on some of my other videos. Uh, but just something maybe to think, to think about, you know, if you are going out to do bushcraft and you want to take some tools with you, these would certainly be the three that I recommend. Um, they give you a lot of versatility, you can do a lot of things with them, as I say, from anything from processing firewood, um, carving small items for camp. I mean, I, with this I can, I can make um, plates, I can make chopping boards, I can make little boards for, for um, sort of cooking uh, bannock and bread and things by the fire, um, and pretty much everything in between. You know, you can make spoons for eating with and, and so forth. So I find these are really, really good. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask in the comments below. Um, hit subscribe if you want to see some more of this um, and if you've got anything you want to see me do please let me know. Thanks guys. Yeah.